Okay, well, I was hoping that they might have one of these in the garage. They had all kinds of other ones. But see, this is a very specialized one, and chances are this light up here has never burned out before, so they probably never had to get one of these before, you know? So before, before I test, before I run to the store or anything and get that, of course I've got to look at this motor, and chances are uh, something's going on up there. You know, it was just like both things happen at the same time, really. So I'm going to undo this little nut up here. Okay. See how easy that was? That to come down. And this all comes down in kind of kind of like two pieces. And and then this cord is plugged into here. So I'm going to have to unplug that. Okay? Like that. And um First things first, right? Take this down. The chances are um, the motor's fine and stuff. Before you start uh, getting too worked up about anything, you just do one step at a time, okay? And um, now, uh, before I get up in there, let's 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 get you in there, uh, nice and close, shall we? Uh, we'll take a look at that together. There's your fan. It's not a whole lot of uh, lint and stuff. And then see, that's plugged in right there, see? To that. And um, I'm going to take a look at that now. And uh, just see if I can spin it. Spin that little fan thing up above. And... Uh, Probably going to have to pull that whole insert down. That's why. That's why I, I want my. I want my uh, glasses. I guess. I've got. I've got the light switch off. And that. See, there's a little thing up there that that turns. That's turning fine. And I look on the side of that. There should be uh, some clips or something holding this in the housing. Okay. I'm, first, I'm first just going to unplug that. Okay. And now I've got to I've got to look at that and I'm not seeing any I'm not seeing any screws. There should be a set screw up there or something that holds that whole thing. So then I can kind of pull it down. But uh I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. I'll get my light, I'll get my light up there again. Just feel along here. Isn't that weird? I may have to just start. Oh, okay, there's a, there's something there. And something something there uh, uh, <laughs> uh, may have to uh, look at this a little bit more closely like I said I don't want to just start jerking it okay okay I see I see a hole on that side there should be a screw right there but there's no screw on there there's no screw on there, so I, I think when they shoved it up there, they just pushed it up, and it was tight. And then they thought, ah, eh, let's just leave it. They probably, they probably lost the screw. There should be a screw there. When you undo the screw, then you can pull this down. It should swivel down. This side should have two little tits that go into the frame. And so uh, let's, let's just try that, okay? My glasses back down on here. Ah, come on. I probably should get my gloves on, huh? Usually the uh, um, 
this whole container in here should slide out of the housing. Okay? And because I've never worked on this particular one, I'm going to have to uh, get my gloves on, kind of pry, do some prying up there, and see what I can do. Because if I can get that, middle, that, that insert out of there, then I can pull that whole black housing down. You know, the inside. See the, just the black part. Do you see what I mean? And then the metal, the aluminum steel color, should stay up there. Then I, can, I should be able to take that whole thing down here and then take a look at it. And then at that point, see, I can, I can take that plug and I can plug it into the wall somewhere and see if the motor is going to work. Do you see what I mean? And if it doesn't, then I know it's the motor. And then generally you can, you can uh, unscrew the motor, take it to the store, get another one, screw it on there, put it all back together. With, without having to rip that down, I don't want to have to rip that out of the ceiling and get another one and stuff. Chances are, uh, they might not have one that's exactly that same color uh, or that same size and all that kind of stuff. There's no way I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to cut something and then have to patch up there because the other one's a little bit smaller or the other one's bigger and then you have to cut the sheetrock out further. I mean, all that kind of stuff you can do if you can't get it fixed, okay? So that's what we're trying to do. We want to get it fixed so we don't have to do much of anything up in the attic. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. I never know what I'm going to show next. So you might want to just stick around and see. It might save you some money around the house.